Hello and thanks for watching this quick little video on the VA funding fee. As you can tell from the title of this video, we are going to explain the funding fee, what it is, how it works, what it's used for, all of that good stuff. So let's keep going. Number one, what is the VA funding fee? Well, the VA funding fee, most simply put, is a fee that you must pay in order to get a VA loan. So both the U.S. government and the U.S. taxpayer are essentially paying for this VA home loan program. And the VA funding fee is a fee that helps offset some of the costs to administer the VA home loan program. So let's keep going. Does everyone pay the VA funding fee? Good question. No, not everyone. There are some people who are exempt, as we call it in the mortgage world, or do not have to pay the funding fee. And those are essentially disabled veterans. Disabled veterans, as it says right here, do not have to pay the funding fee. Now, in addition, veterans who otherwise are eligible to receive disability, but maybe they're not receiving it because they're getting some other form of compensation. They, along with a few other cases of veterans who have been deemed eligible to receive, to receive VA disability, but are not necessarily receiving it, do not have to pay the funding fee. Now, surviving spouses of a veteran who died in service or who died from a service-connected disability or complication also are exempt from paying the VA funding fee. So what is the amount of the VA funding fee? Well, number one, you can research for hours on this topic. And if you would like to go to lowvarates.com, you'll see a little hyperlink somewhere on our homepage and throughout our website for the blog or the VA loan blog. Go ahead and click on that. And then like most blogs in the top right corner, we have a search bar, which allows you to type in something like the VA funding fee and up will come all sorts of helpful and educational articles. Now, I want to go over, depending on how big your screen is and where you're watching this video, right here is a fee structure that I took directly off the Department of Veterans Affairs uh, VA lenders page that breaks down the funding fee. You can pause the video or you can do some research online, like I said, but essentially, here's how the VA funding fee works. It is a percentage of your loan amount. Let me see if I can't zoom in on this table quickly, and we'll go from there. So it is a percentage. Now, the more money you put down on a VA loan, which is something that almost never gets done, because if you know anything about VA loans, they are 100% financing or no money down loans. So this doesn't happen often, but if you do have money to put down, you'll notice if you put down 5%, your VA funding fee drops. If you put down 10%, it goes down even further than that. Now, what does this mean, a percentage of the loan amount? If you have a $100,000 loan, okay, and you have to pay a 1.5% VA funding fee, then what would your funding fee be? Well, it would be $1,500. And if you've watched any of our other videos, you can finance that $1,500 right into your mortgage. So this VA funding fee does not need to be paid out of pocket. Most people that are getting a home for the very first time with their VA mortgage will pay a 2.15% funding fee. If you're a reservist or National Guard, the funding fee is a little different. Okay, now every time after your initial or what we call first time use, every time you use it after that, you will pay a slightly higher funding fee. And then since a lot of people that are working with low VA rates these days are refinancing, the interest rate reduction refinance loan, also known as the EARL, the I-R-R-L, it is 0.5%. No matter how many EARLs you do, no matter how many times you streamline your loan, it is a half percent. So on a $100,000 loan, it's $500. And as we've talked about, our service-connected veterans, those with disabilities, never, ever pay the funding fee. So let's, uh, let's come off of this Zoomed uh, report real quick, and let's go on to the next slide. How does the VA funding fee actually work? Okay, we've explained it, but how does it work? Here's what I like to say. It's kind of like taking money. We just went to that 
chart and we talked about a 1500 VA funding fee or a $500 VA funding fee, take all the money from the hundreds of thousands and hundreds of thousands of loans that are being done through the VA home loan program on an annual basis, put all that money in a piggy bank, if you will, or probably a more intelligent way to explain it would be it's held in an insurance fund and the VA is just collecting this money. Every time someone closes on a VA loan, the VA is getting a wire or they're getting a check and that money is just sitting in there as an insurance against future defaults. So when a VA loan goes into default, we know nobody goes and gets a home loan with the VA with the uh, expectation of defaulting, but things happen. And when the loans default, the VA pays a portion of the losses that the lender could incur as kind of an insurance payout or what the VA refers to as a guarantee. The VA is guaranteeing to the lender, in this case, we low VA rates are a lender, the VA guarantees a portion of the loan in the event of losses, okay? Now, the VA funding fee is used, as I just suggested, to offset not only VA loans that go bad or that don't perform, it also reduces the ongoing costs that are associated with managing or administering the VA home loan program. Uh, it keeps the program going forward. Now, I'm not sure why that just happened like that, but it just goes to show we're unscripted here at low VA rates, and all we're trying to do is educate our consumers, specifically our veterans. Every VA loan that is done is going to end up paying the VA funding fee, except as I stated on the prior slide, if you receive disability or you have been deemed eligible to receive disability, you will be paying the funding fee. So that concludes our video on explaining the VA funding fee. Hopefully you have found it uh, educational. If you have additional questions, as always, you can call us at 866-569-8272. You can visit us online at lowvarates.com or you're welcome to check us out on YouTube or anywhere else on the web. Thank you.